great news for Langkawi's hornbills. Teams from Gaya and Hutan have teamed up to give these magnificent birds a boost by installing the first artificial nest box in Langkawi. This smart solution tackles the problem of scarce nesting spots, providing hornbills with a safe space to raise their young high in the trees. The combined expertise of conservationists and the daring skills of climbers make this project a shining example of how creative, hands-on efforts can make a big difference in wildlife conservation. Semalam kami telah membuat Uh, pemasangan kotak sarang di uh, kawasan area data ini uh, sarang itu khusus untuk uh, hornbill lah untuk bersarang di situ. Kenapa sarang itu sarang tiruan ini sangat penting di uh, kawasan ini disebabkan uh, hornbill uh, bersarang di dalam lubang pokok dan Uh, inisiatif kita untuk membantu hornbill adalah menggunakan kotak sarang tiruan. So harap-harap di masa akan datang hornbill-hornbill yang ada di sini boleh naik populasi dia. Okay, so we are here in Langkawi just off the Andaman Sea and we are here for an important event right Dave yes, because we important. are building homes for the hornbills. Yes, we are. Absolutely. So now we just want to know a little bit about what um, the resort is doing because you know building homes for the hornbills who ever thought of that it's crazy uh -huh. so maybe you want to talk about uh, what's going on at the resort and why is it important for us to do this very unique thing that is right. homes for the hornbills it's a very long story but i tried to shorten yes, it yes okay <laughs> my name is deb um i am the pillar head for Wildlife for the Future, which is part of the Datai Pledge, um, which is a conservation and sustainability um, entity. And um, in Wildlife for the Future, as the title suggests, we look after almost every aspect of wildlife conservation. Mm. Ones on the ground, what, what, uh, what grows up and down the tree trunk, and what actually lives up there as well. Mm. And we're working with Gaia to check on uh, nest boxes and how many next nest boxes we'd like to put up. We also would like to inspect existing nests, whether these nests can be repaired and reused. Um, and from the past two days, looking at the amount of work that has gone, been done, it is uh, awesome work. It's amazing what these... Uh, gentlemen are capable of. So Gaia is an NGO that supports uh, the study of hornbills. Yes. Right. And here in Langkawi we have three hornbills that are? The oriental pied hornbill which is the smallest then uh, the wreathed hornbill and the great uh, hornbill. Absolutely. That's so we witnessed uh, the team from Gaia and Hutan actually setting up the box and I didn't even know how big the box the box was huge yes yeah and um, yes you see you men know. climbing up the trees like primates yes <laughs> I was uh, shocked to actually see the nest box being transported from the main road into the jungle oh yes and of course there was the case of the I know I didn't want branch to <laughs> that, that you know I saw my life flashed by, you know. I know, I was very concerned. I was very concerned. The risks uh, that uh, is being taken for things like this. Amazing work. But it's all part of nature because, you know, as we conserve hornbills, as we conserve wildlife, we also have to think about things like having, you know, looking at suitable homes for them, at trees that, you know, that have natural cavities. And if they don't have cavities, then we need to build a home like what we just did just yesterday. Yes. So if you want to know more, read the story at Sunday Vibes News Straight Times.